Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Without DG the PG, they are currently 5-1. Great comeback win at home today against the New York Knicks. Donovan Mitchell has had the biggest impact possible on this basketball team. The culture continues, continues to just look, it looks so fun. It looks so fun. I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about Wednesday's game. Just the crowd was into it. Got that road win in overtime against the almost NBA champions, Boston Celtics. Tonight, Sunday night, the crowd was loving it. Players were feeding off of it. Tonight was really the Donovan Mitchell, Kevin Love show. Kevin Love had, what was it, like 16 points in the fourth quarter. Man, he's the heart and soul of this basketball team. And all of this is without your all-star point guard in Darius Garland. It has been so cool to see Donovan Mitchell tonight. He had 12 assists. It's been so cool to see Donovan Mitchell just control the game. I mean, he started tonight's game against the New York Knicks with five threes in the first quarter. Finished with almost 40 points, 12 assists. I mean, it was just an extravagant game. There's technically a little bit of time left, so Donovan Mitchell might even hit 40 if he gets fouled. But, I mean, they steamrolled him. They steamrolled the New York Knicks in the fourth quarter. There was a little bit of a stagnant offense in the third. The New York Knicks climbed their way back. But it was funny. It's funny seeing like the knocks on the Cleveland Cavaliers right now saying, you know, they're, they're, they got an easy schedule. They're not playing good teams. First off, that's incorrect. And the last two wins, Boston Celtics on the road, New York Knicks tonight at home. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. I don't see what stopping the Cleveland Cavaliers. What stopped the Cleveland Cavaliers last season was injuries and it was offense. And we still haven't even, you know, Rajon Rondo's still working his way back from a torn ACL. Raul Nato was a huge pickup. Robin Lopez was a huge pickup. I was watching the some of the clips that you saw earlier in this video of just like the Cleveland Cavs dynamic outside of the court and you know, Robin Lopez, take from a former Chicago, or Chicago Bull fan, former Chicago Bull and Robin Lopez, he's huge for the culture. He's absolutely huge. So this team got the depth. They got the offense. I can't wait to see how Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell just play throughout this entire season. I mean, Donovan Mitchell was, he's been perfect. I mean, he has quite literally been perfect. He's dropping over 30 a night. He's getting you rebounds. He's getting you assists. But what's Cleveland's main strong suit is their defense. I mean, Cleveland was not supposed to do, or they were not projected, I should say, to do what they did last season. Before we get any further in this video, if you guys enjoy it, hit the like button, hit that sub button. Post daily NBA content. I am stepping up my Cavs content game. I've been slacking. Somebody dropped a comment on a video earlier today. He's like, where's, the, where's all the Cav content? We talk about them pretty much every day on my daily live NBA show. Link's down below. But I got to start posting way more Cav stuff. You guys showed me so much love last year. And it's been truly a joy. All right. We have the final confirmation of the game. 121 to 108. Karis LeVert didn't even make a field goal tonight. Karis LeVert didn't make a field goal tonight. But what do good players do when they're not shooting? They do a little bit of everything else. He had eight assists. Didn't close out the game. We saw Isaac Okoro actually close out the game. Now, when you take a look at the box score, here's Isaac Okoro's stats. 22 minutes, 2 points, 0-3 from the field, 0-2 from downtown. But he had two re or four rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. Closed out the game for him, and he finished as a team high plus 24. He had a huge impact on the game, and it, it really sucked to see the first five games or so this year where... You know, Isaac, I think he still has yet to make a three-point shot. That's really what's holding Isaac Coro back is an offensive game. We saw it in spurts last season. Looks like he's still a little, little ways away. However, defensively, he's already a stud. Was a stud last year, even more of a stud this season. He had that crazy, like, jump assist to Evan Mobley block to continue their fourth quarter lead but they were on just a crazy amazing run and they're getting it done on defense and when you've got the two big men in Evan Mobley and Jared Allen that paint's gonna be shut down every single night the biggest question for Cleveland to me is who's playing the three well right now we're without DG so you're not seeing their you know starting lineup however Dean Wade tonight <laughs> What a game. 22 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 8 of 11 from the field, 6 of 8 from downtown. Dean Wade has stepped up. Jetty Osmond has really stepped up. Not too much from him tonight. He shot just 1 of 7, 1 of 6 from downtown. Only finished with 3 points. But 
they have plenty of guys, right? I mean, Dean Wade, Karis LeVert can play a little bit of the three. Isaac Coro, Jetty Osman, you even have Lamar Stevens getting a little bit deeper into the bench. But that's like one of their biggest question marks. But up until tonight, I get Jetty. That's really like the, the knock on him is just offensive consistency. However, heading into this game, I mean, he was hooping. He was balling, giving you almost 15 a night. This game definitely brought down his averages. But Dean Wade has been awesome. They extended him for a reason. It's a good problem to have. I mean, they have plenty of options. Karis LeVert coming off a 41-point game against Boston. Tonight definitely wasn't his night going 0-9 from the field, 0-4 from downtown. But, you know, I don't really see why Cleveland can't do it. You have your superstars. You have your stars. You have your role players. You have your culture pieces. I mean, Kevin Love tonight turned back the clock as he does all the time. Went 8-13 from downtown, 8 rebounds, finished with 29 points, and closed out the game. Pretty much sealed the game. That and one three. I mean, you could tell right there, Donovan was loving it, the fans were loving it, the team was loving it, JB's a phenomenal coach as well, very underrated coach, they have a lot of options, and this was something that was just tough last season, when all the injuries started to occur, it was like, alright, who's stepping up next, and the guys stepped up, they just lacked that offense, they lacked that firepower, and when you go out there and you get a superstar in Don or at least a star in Donovan Mitchell, I mean, he's really demonstrating right now that he did not have empty stats. That was a knock to Donovan Mitchell at the second half of last season going into the playoffs that all of Donovan Mitchell, like he's not that good, it's just empty stats. We're seeing that's not the case. He's a career plus defender, he has a super long wingspan, and I haven't had any defensive concerns with him so far. I mean, like 38 points, 3 rebounds, 12 assists, 8 of 13 from downtown, and a steal, and 2 blocks. Donovan Mitchell was all over the place tonight. Both sides, especially in the fourth quarter. Late in the fourth quarter, he had a really nice block. I mean, defensively, they have it. And now it seems really offensively. I know we still need to see more of DG and Donovan Mitchell, but I don't know. I, I don't have any cause for concern. So... Could this be Cleveland's year? If it's not Cleveland's year, they're, I mean, they've been heading in the right direction for a while now, but they've got that star talent. They've got the defense. The offense is really coming around this season. How far can Cleveland get? I want to hear what you guys have to say. Go ahead, drop a comment down below. How far do you see the Cleveland Cavaliers going in this season? As far as I'm concerned, we saw early on in the season was Cle when Cleveland played Toronto. Was that the opener? It felt like a playoff game. And I said in one of my videos, I was like, this felt like to me a second round playoff game to get into the Eastern Conference Finals. So Cleveland, they've been super fun to watch, especially at home. They're getting the job done. I hope DG comes back soon and just continues being an all-star because he's an absolute stud. It's looking good for Cleveland. So hit that like button, hit that sub button. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.